Test 2 review number 21. Here we have a linear inequality and we're going to solve it the same way we solve linear equations. Except there's one thing to watch out for. We need to flip over the inequality symbol if we multiply or divide by negative number and usually and almost always that happens in the very final step where you're isolating the x. So let's put that as a note to remind ourselves. Flip inequality symbol whenever multiplying or dividing by a negative number. Besides that, we're exactly solving the same steps as when we have a linear equation. So with a linear equation, our first step is distribute. So let's go ahead and give the 4 to both pieces here. So we get 32 minus 8x. Bring down the plus 2x. Keep the inequality like it is. And then we do 5 times 9 is 45 plus 15x. Distributing's done. Next step after distributing is collect like terms. Here we have minus 8x plus 2x, so that's going to give us, bring down the 32, minus 6x, keep the inequality symbol like it is, less than 45 plus 15x. After we collect like terms, we want to get all x's to one side. So move x's to one side. So we're going to move them either left or right. And in this case, I'm going to move them left because I want to end up with a negative in front of the x. That way you're going to see how to deal with that when you get to that final step. But we could move them to the right and avoid having a negative, and then you can avoid having to worry about flipping the inequality. But let's move them left, so I want to get rid of the 15x over here, which means I subtract it. And I have to balance it on the other side. So that gives me 32 minus 21x is less than 45. So we have to move x's to one side. We do numbers to other side. That means get rid of this 32 here because we're trying to get x by itself. Take away 32, take away 32. Cancels out. And I get minus 21x. This inequality stays the same direction. Even though I have this negative number happening here, I'm subtracting it from both sides. I'm not multiplying or dividing it to both sides. Therefore, the inequality symbol points in the same direction. And that will give me 13. And my very final step will be to divide both sides by negative 21 because I do not want the minus 21 next to the x. And that's the step to watch for. So to isolate x, in this case, we're going to divide by negative 21 on both sides. We need to flip because we divided by a negative. So that gives us x. Instead of less than, it's greater than minus 13 over 21. And that's the final answer. And I believe in test 2 review, whoops, in test 2 review, they're just asking you to get this final answer and not to graph it. But let's go ahead and graph it too because I want you to see. How do you graph something like this? What I would do for this one is I would say minus 13 over 21 is approximately equal to minus 0 0.6. And then put down the two numbers that the 0 0.6 or the minus 0 0.6 falls between. So it falls between 0 and minus 1. It's a little more than halfway to minus 1. And because we had x is greater than, but not equal to, 
the minus 0 0.6, we do not want to include minus 0 0.6 in our answer, so we need to leave an open circle, and we want everything greater, so we're pointing in the same direction as the inequality symbol. It's pointing to the right. All x values greater than means more to the right, and that would be our solution done out in a graph.